Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, Week 9. Week 9 deals with beaming notes and beaming rests. Beaming and rest. We can include rests inside a group of beamed notes. Rests themselves are never beamed. Rests are never beamed. We never beam rest. We simply insert them between the notes. We can change their vertical position on the stave if we need to, to make the music clearer. And this is how we do it. Unbeamed. Beamed. And here's a rest. The same quiver rest has been moved downwards a little bit so that it doesn't get mixed up with the beam lines. Stem direction of beaming two notes. If you need to join two or more notes together, but some of them have stems which point up and others which point down, which direction do you choose for the beamed group? For example, let's say you had to beam together two Ds of different pitches. Should they both have upwards pointing stems or downwards pointing? Let's take a look. This is two Ds of different pitches and facing in two different directions. Which one do we use? To work out which way to draw your stems when beaming two or more notes, first you need to work out which note is furthest, furthest from the middle line. In our example above, the bottom D is further away from the middle line than the top D is. Use the direction of the note which is furthest from the middle line as your guide. The bottom D has its stem pointing upwards, so that's the direction we should use with our beaming. This is the correct one. However, we change the notes to Fs. You will notice that we have to change two stems down because the top F is further from the middle line than the bottom F. And this is how we need to put it. Beams can be flat, angled up, or angled down. Beaming should follow the general direction of the music from left to right. If the music is getting higher, the beam should point upwards. If it's getting lower, it should be downwards. If the pitch of the beam denotes is the same overall, the beam should be flat. Sometimes we may need to make the stems on some notes extra long to allow enough space for everything to be seen. And this is how we should do it. Bar 1 to 4 are correct. 1, 2, 3, 4. In bar 4, the stems are extra long on the lower E's to allow space for the higher E. In bar 5, the beams it's flat, but the music is rising. This is incorrect. This is not correct. In bar 6, the music is falling, but the uh, beam is angled upwards. This is incorrect either. Bar 6. This is bar 6. In bar 7, the pitch of the first and last notes is the same, so the beam should be flat. Thank you for watching and let's meet again next time.